Hey folks, so uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a, a new juicer that uh, I was fortunate enough to win on Twitter from AO.com. It's the Panasonic MJDJ01. Uh, definitely a mouthful. Um, so I'm going to kind of go in and talk about some of the features and then my opinion of it because I've had the opportunity to make quite a bit of juice from it so far. Um, obviously I've got a couple of apples set up as an example of you know, what we'll be doing. I'll be showing you effectively how much juice you can get out of four kind of regular apples. A couple of statistics about the juicer, it's 800 watts, so um, all that really is is kind of how powerful the actual um, engine is inside, so uh, it's kind of all it really needs to uh, do is for you to think about the types of fruit and the types of vegetables you're putting in, make sure it's not overly hard, otherwise the engine won't be able to handle it. Uh, then you've got the um, drip stop, so this sort of goes my hair, you flip it up, oh. <laughs> and you flip it down, basically up, is, uh, it's going to stop it dripping, so it's not going to go anywhere in case you want to move your cup, or in this case, the little drip container. So pop this back. It has a two liter um, kind of waste bin. Effectively, everything that you juice will all get thrown out that isn't juice into the very back. There's pulp, you can use pulp for other stuff if you want. Um, there are plenty of recipes online, but for the time being, uh, I don't know what to use it for, so I'm just throwing it away. You can probably quite see quite a bit of um, apple that's already messed up, because I've used a lot of apple in the bottom already. Couple more details about the juicer. It's a full metal um, kind of juicer tray. So on the inside, which I'll show you in a second, uh, it's all metal grill and all metal teeth. So in terms of the quality and the longevity, um, so far it's absolutely fine. There's no dents in the metal. There's no sign of rust, which is good. So I wouldn't want any of that. Really easy mechanism to take the arms off. So basically this lets you dismantle the entire juicer. All you do is pop it back on the sides. You get this with it, I'm just gonna pop this up. And effectively it's a litre and a half for you to be able to juice as much as you want. So say for example you've got people coming around, you're going to make more than just one cup of juice. You would pop this down and it's got this really handy drip stop at the very top because you don't want it splashing down, which is pretty useful. A uh, couple more features about it. Um, it has two speeds, so I'm going to turn on that and pee in so you can kind of hear the difference. And I'll let it slow down for a second. It's almost like a hairdryer. That was, if you can hear me, that was the second speed. So basically there's a kind of standard speed and then there's a really fast speed if you've got lots and lots of stuff that you can turn and throw in that you want to juice really, really quickly. Um, so that's pretty much all the basics. A um, couple of things I've kind of noticed off using it a, a few times. When you switch it on, you'll probably see, unless you're really holding it down, it'll move slightly. So it hasn't got any suction cups on the bottom, which I kind of expect. I've got a few more um, smoothie makers and a uh, really kind of quick magic bullet smoothie maker which has suction feet on the bottom which you kind of think would hold it in place whereas this is obviously a much more powerful motor and it tends to swing on the surface like this so there's nothing really holding it and I would have uh, would like to kind of have that in place the only other thing which you can kind of expect from a juicer is lots and lots of mess all around but I find it's relatively easy to take apart rinse through put a bit of washing up liquid in the soft part of the sponge takes it off straight away so I guess you probably want to see the juicer working. So I'll put three more apples in. This is already one apple's worth of juice. I'll put three more in, and then I'll kind of show you it working. Pop two in, and this time we'll go for regular speed. You don't really have to push that hard for the apple to get round up. Turn that off. Then one more. So simple. And the one thing I've got to say is if you are going to be making your own juice at home, because I hate uh, juice from concentrate, I hate stuff that isn't fresh juice, uh, have your uh, fruit or veg in the fridge because that will actually give you nice, cold, fresh juice. So this is, I'll pop this up. This is four apples worth of juice, and we'll see how much that makes. And they're kind of regular apples, if anything, they're probably kind of quite small apples. So there's one there, and we'll just grab another one. So there is pretty much two cups worth of juice. However, you can probably kind of tell based on the type of juice you're getting. One is obviously really, really juicy, the rest is kind of um, part juice, part pulp, which is obviously the, the kind of mesh as fine as it is, not catching it all. So now that I've juiced, 
uh, all the kind of um, apples that I've got available. Pop this off. You can take this out. It really is relatively clean. It's just the kind of grates. You can pop that there. And then if you want to take everything else apart, really is a case of lifting up. Be careful because there always will be lots and lots of pulp here. So you want to be making sure you turn it upside down. And then this is the all metal container. So this is the stuff that really is kind of controlling all the juice coming out. This is just a case of pop it in your sink, rinse it through, really nice and easy to clean. And then there's the uh, kind of container at the very back, which you can fully take off so you can kind of take all of it apart. There's about four or five components. They all individually come off and they're really easy. It's just kind of like Lego blocks to pop back together. Um, so I kind of guess all together, the, the only things that I think could be improved in kind of like a version two, suction cups or at least something to kind of fix it to the to the table or kind of a surface like this because if you are doing it quite a few times or if you've got hard fruit or veg it's going to start spinning all around the desk and even though this has got kind of 120 degree spin it might move away from what you're doing and start pouring off the side of the table and then some way to kind of direct stuff down into the bin rather than have it spit out uh, that may not be possible because if, you, if it is kind of juicing the, the fruit or veg it is spitting out everywhere so that might just simply be too much to ask for. Uh, however, as you can kind of see, four regular sized apples, once the stuff's settled, it's pretty much a glass and a half of fresh, fresh juice. Like I say, if it's been in the fridge, um, really, really good quality, uh, cold, fresh fruit uh, juice. So I don't think that uh, I could really ask for anything more other than it being a little bit more stable. Um, so I'd like to thank AO.com for obviously providing the juicer, amazing, always wanted one. Um, and obviously kind of Panasonic for, for making the most bit of kit. Cool, thanks for tuning in guys. My uh, written review will also be on the page tomorrow as well. Thanks very much, take care, bye bye.